Hi guys, today we are making the Jammy Dodgers from The Silent Spy. So here are my ingredients today. We have vanilla, flour, butter, and sugar. And that's for the cookies. And we have jam or jelly or lemon curd or whatever you want for the inside right here. And sprinkles for on top. So let's get started. Make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So first you need two cups of butter. And we need one cup of white sugar. Now make sure you mix that really good. So take a mixer or whatever you got, spoon. Two teaspoons of vanilla. And give it another good stir. So now what you do is you stir in the flour. We've got four cups here. Make sure to do a little by little so that you don't have a flour bomb. Once it looks about like this, you want to make sure your hands are washed and get in there and make it into a ball. Now we're going to use this mess that we made to our advantage. So take some of your flour, put some on your hands here, and you're going to put it on the table. Take your ball of dough and break it in half. So the flour makes it dough not stick to anything. At least try to not stick to anything. So you want to take that, put it right in the center. And we don't have a rolling pin here because we forgot it. So use any cylindrical object that's fairly flat. And take some flour and make sure you flour the surface. Now you're going to get this if you don't keep flouring it. So you have to continually flour your rolling pin here. These fun shapes, so you want to take your round one. So it doesn't stick, you dip it in the flour. That's all floury. And you just set it in there and twist a little bit. And then lift it up. There it is. Now each jammy dodger, you sandwich them together with the jam. So you need two per cookie. So this is technically one cookie. Now in order to make the inside, you take one of these smaller ones here, dip it in the flour, put it right in the center. There you are. So now we'll take that out and then put them together. So when you've cut out your cookies, you're going to want to bake them. So get a baking sheet and you can either spray it with like Pam or maybe down with Crisco or something, but I like to use parchment paper. That way you can just throw it out when you're done. So take some parchment paper, rip off all that you need, so you measure it and set it in here. Take your spatula, dip it in the flour just so nothing sticks, we can make sure nothing sticks. And go ahead and try to, you might have to wiggle it a little bit because they're gonna stick to the surface that you're working on. If any of them crack, just go ahead and smush it back together a little bit.
Now take what you have extra and just bunch it all up together again. So once the oven is preheated and ready, you wanna take these and put them in for 10 to 12 minutes, depending on how your oven is. So when the timer goes off, open it up and we'll check them out. So pull them out and look, and if they have some brown around the edges, they're good. So now we'll just set them off to the side so they can cool. After you've let your cookies cool for a while, now it's time to decorate. So with your spatula, make sure they might be kind of stuck. So make sure you give them a little wiggle. These look pretty good. The bottom and spread it nice and thick there. You can put how much, however much you want. The amount doesn't matter. And take the top and you're gonna set it right on top. Kind of like glue. Nestle it down there. And there you are. That is the jammy dodger. But it is not complete without the sprinkles. And there are your jammy dodgers. So you can decorate them with whatever you want on them, any filling or any topping, so any sprinkles, any colors that you want on top, frosting. You can do it really however you want. Make sure to try your work. Mm. Oh yeah. Speaking of the Silent Spy, this Friday only we're having a sale. 50% off the digital download only with the code PARENTS15. Enjoy!